Hello and welcome back for another 50 States of Food cooking video. This is a collaborative effort I'm doing with Heather from the Pixel Gamer Girl channel where we are slowly cooking our way through all 50 of the United States. Today's style finds us in the Hawkeye State of Iowa. It became our 29th state on December 27th, 1846. And the dish we're going to be making for it today is the Iowa Ham Balls. The ingredients I'll be using are 3.5 pounds of ground ham. This is just a regular old shank ham that I cut 3.5 pounds off of and then ran it through my food processor to grind it up. 1.5 pounds of a ground hamburger. The recipe did recommend a lean ground beef, so that's what I've gone with. 3 cups of graham cracker crumbs, 3 lightly beaten eggs, and 2 cups of milk. And then for the sauce, I'll be using 2 cans of tomato soup, 3 fourths cup of white distilled vinegar, 2.5 cups of packed brown sugar, and 1 little tiny teaspoon of prepared mustard. These are all ingredients, so let's go ahead and get some of the stuff moved out of our way, and we can get started bringing our meatballs together. So in my large bowl, I've gone ahead and just added the ground beef, and I'm just lightly breaking it up, just so it's a little bit more evenly spread out across the top. And now that I have that done, the next thing I'm going to add in is the graham cracker crumbs, the three lightly beaten eggs, and then I went ahead and created a little well here in the center to add the milk in. And that's it. Now all I need to do is get in here and mix all of these ingredients together. Now that I have everything combined, I'm going to use a one-third cup measuring cup to measure out roughly the amount that I'll need. I'm looking for about a two-inch ball when I get done. They're going to be a pretty hefty size. And once I've got these formed, I'm just going to place them over here in my shallow baking dish. I'm going to go ahead and continue making the balls until I run out of my mixture here. Now that I have the meatballs all rolled out, it did take two pans, so just be aware this is quite a large recipe. I want to move on to making the sauce, and I'm going to be pouring over the top of them. I've gone ahead and added in my two cans of tomato soup, and now I'm going to add in my brown sugar. The next thing to go in is going to be the one teaspoon of prepared mustard and the three-fourths cup of vinegar. So this is going to make like a sweet and sour sauce. Now that I have this all whisked together, the only thing I need to do before I get these in the oven to bake them is to divide my sauce over both pans. Here, let me get rid of that real quick. There we go. And then let me bring these back in. And I'll start by pouring half in this one. And then we'll get half in the other one. Eh, I'll roughly divide it. <laughs> there we go. Now that I have the sauce divided between both pans, I'm just going through and making sure I got the sauce on top of all of the little meatballs. And these are going to go into a 325 degree oven where they're going to bake for an hour. And then I want to make sure I pull them out about every 15 minutes and just baste them with that sauce. So hopefully they'll form like a nice sticky little glaze on top of the meatballs. Alright guys, I'll see you once these are out of the oven. I have gone ahead and removed the meatballs from the oven. And now about halfway through the baking time, I, they were still pretty raw. And I just didn't feel like they were baking quite like they should. So I did go ahead and bump my heat up to 350. And I let them cook at like an extra 10 minutes just to help that sauce kind of reduce down and get a little bit on the sticky side. But they are done. They look beautiful. They smell amazing. And it's time for us to go ahead and uh, try one. So I've got one here set for me. The sauce I've actually tasted already. And it's really good. It's like a really nice sweet and sour sauce. These are cooked all the way through. They finally have firmed up a little bit. Although... They still are a very soft meatball, so I expect these will be nice and juicy on the inside. Wow, I've got to say that was absolutely an unexpected flavor. As you can tell, I have really enjoyed that little meatball. I kind of get a little hint of the graham cracker, but I really have to think about it to see if I'm actually tasting it. 
it's not overwhelmingly hammy. And I don't really get the hamburger, but like everything else in there has kind of balanced all the other ingredients out and kind of mellowed them down. And they all really work very well together. I actually really, really enjoyed this. The sauce, I think, is a little bit on the sweet side, but I think that's the nature of the sauce. It's supposed to be sweet. And I could definitely see these served on a bed of rice. And I think that's actually probably what I'm going to do with them for dinner tonight. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. Please remember to check out at the 50 States playlist. I will leave a link down in the description to it. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Valkyra. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. I need another bite.